Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to showcase you the new features coming along with Pixera 1.4 and the first feature I would like to show you is our new text generator feature. In order to do so I've prepared some um, color PNGs right here and I will start by importing one on top of my um, already inserted layer. And in order to create a text, all you want to do is click on the T icon here, which will add a text. And now as I select the text, uh, we can see our options in the inspector. So first thing I'd like to do is assign a name and a text. And um, instead of putting in the text by hand, I could also load a text file I would like to. Um, now we can furthermore find information for line height, the font, as well as the max ID, and some formatting, formatting options. Now in order to get the text on my screen, what I want to do is uh, take the text and assign it to a layer. And the text is now going to be rendered on whatever is being assigned uh, content-wise to the layer. So uh, let's just change some settings here in order to make it a little bit smaller. I can also grab it and resize it as I like. So now as you can see, as my first image is the black one uh, with a black text. Now let's put the red one also here. Now here we go with the red one. And if I was to now put a video on here, the text would also be rendered um, on top of the video file, as you can see. The next feature will help you dealing with big canvas resolutions on multiple clients. In the screens tab um, on screens, you will find new options down below which are called screen texture setup. And in here you can decide between texture per machine, per screen or per output. Uh, texture per machine is the default here. Um, if you select texture per screen, the client will always render the complete texture for the screen. So in our case, we have a screen with 16,000 by 3,300 pixels. So this will be quite a big workload for it. Uh, texture per machine will render it per machine and texture per output per output. So the most performant um, uh, setting is texture per machine. And in our case, for example, we have our first four projectors on a client, second ones on a client, and uh, the second four projectors on another client, and the last four projectors on our third client. And the system will then slice individual parts of the screen, uh, depending on the placement of the projectors, and only render these parts in order to enhance performance. In compositing, you can then furthermore on your layers restrict the layer to a machine with a certain IP address in order to further help with the performance. Our last feature in 1.4 can be found in the mapping tab. In the live tab uh, you can now find the artnet option and in here you can simply add artnet output streams uh, which will basically convert the video signal of the assigned imaging device and convert it to artnet in order to play it out as an artnet signal.